know, buddy. <laughs> what? Do you, do you like being an ad? <laughs> Your camera's gone. Oh. Why, yes, I do. What was I an ad for? Uh, paint, I think, and then you were an ad for ads. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, he was close. Yeah, he had a, a shining moment, but was unable to execute it fully. So, the next game we're gonna get into is probably going to be him versus Alive, then. So, oh, yeah, that was the best of one. Yeah. So. Get the lobby set up. Um, bum, bum, bum. Wait, did you just ask me to get the lobby set up, or are you saying that you're getting the lobby set up? I said we'll get the lobby set up, so like either one. Okay. Do you want to do it? I could do it. Okay. It's all good. Actually, I don't know if I just committed to making the lobby. Did you? Seems like you're taking an awful long time. Fear is messaging me and saying, you really want bad games, don't you? <laughs> I'll play super careless till I get someone good. Um, you said Stylish was alive, right? Yeah, does he know that? It's kind of a odd thing to say. At this point, Alive has been stylish on the bracket for a very long time, and I know Fear has been playing in more than one uh, of our online cups, so I guess it is, could be coincidental you just never face the guy. Yeah. So you never bothered oh, burning. Yeah, because I made it so much faster than you. Well, it's because I never made it. I was talking with Fear. I made the lobby and talked with Alive. No excuses. Multitasking. See, this is why you're in a higher league than me in StarCraft. Yeah, my multitasking is better for lobby making. Exactly. <laughs> That's where it's useful. When I talk with people, usually if I'm still talking, I have to say everything that I'm saying. So that's actually why if I ever get logged out of StarCraft, I have to go to like a break screen because I know that I might accidentally like say my password while I type <laughs> it. That's a bad, that's a bad habit. Yes, it is. It's a very bad habit. <laughs> it's also why I can't get with fights in, with people while we're on a broadcast. Because it'll oh, be very public. You can't fight with chat or with players. Really. Yeah, that's actually a lot of the reason why I don't actually fight hmm. with chat. I love fighting with chat. I know you do. You literally have an emote that signifies how much you love fighting with chat. Yeah, that's one of the more useful ones. <clears throat> All right, is Fear ready? Did he respond to you telling him he's alive? Nope. Oh, huh? But he accepted the game invite after I told him. So. It's also that like, he appears as alive in game. I can actually show you guys. So, I mean, he's, a, he's diamond, right? And maybe that would, Fear would be like, oh, he's like some, you know, he's not actually alive, but no, he is. He is alive, zombie group. He, he is, is alive. alive. That's true. And that's how we're going to introduce him. Whenever Fear says he's ready... Fair! Damn. Maybe he's fearful of the future right now. I mean, maybe, but you just gotta go in head first, you know? Yeah. You're only alive once. Unless... YOA actually... would be a much worse acronym than YOA. YOA. YOA? Actually, I don't think it would. Yoa? Mm. Yoa just sounds like Yoa. You can't pronounce Boa. Boa. Wait, what is Boa? Okay, most people don't know Korean pop culture like bands, okay? I mean, she's also Japanese. Let's calm down there. And I think okay, she was whatever. famous in Japan first. <clears throat> and she speaks English. She's an amazing person. Most people don't know who that is. Well, Google it. Anyway, we're still. I fear, buddy. Buddy! Fear. We weren't gonna go to a break because everyone was around and it was great. And then. We already had our ad break. It was when I didn't have my camera on. Yeah, right? That paint company should give us money. 
Right? You should message them. Send them an email. Uh, I really was so confused because I, you know, lately with casting with Rifkin, he has that stupid face rig thing up, right? And I was like, is Fear Dragon trolling me? Like, with like a, like he's like a paint bucket now? I don't understand. <laughs> a paint bucket. I, like, I don't think he would do something like that, but I don't know. Sometimes you have a wild day or two. All right, he's ready. Fear yeah, Dragon he was just messaging in the wrong chat. <laughs> yeah, apparently the entire time. Thank you to F7 Super Serial for the 20 month resub. Woo! Wahoo! All right. Well, hopefully Fear is going to take this one a little bit more seriously because he was saying he wasn't going to take it seriously until he got a good opponent, and now he knows that he has a good <laughs> opponent. Yeah, yeah. I should actually be taking this super serial. Hey. Anyway, in the top left, as the blue Protoss, he is Dead Pixels Fear. And in the bottom right, we have the Red Terran player. Give it up for Alive. Maybe he knew who Stylish was, and he was just being, you know, that kind of, like, confident BM. He's like, yeah, I'll just take it seriously when I get a good opponent. Alive sucks. Maybe, and that's how he, he psyched himself up. Maybe he told me the exact up. same thing before the first series. He was like, why are you casting this one? This is gonna be, like, silly. <laughs> well, didn't he invite you? No, I messaged him. Oh, oh, well, I think the way I was way looking you... for other matches, and I didn't really recognize anyone oh. else, like, that were even level opponents going up against each other. Oh, because the way I think you said it was, well, Fear's inviting me to a game, and I, I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I asked to. Okay, well then, that, I missed that part of the conversation, so never mind, but, all right. <laughs> Maybe, it's, it, it'll be interesting. I mean, at this point, you should really know. We told him that he's actually alive. He sees that he's alive, and in, like, eight minutes... Or, or, no, six minutes, he's going to actually experience the fact that, like, yes, this Terran player knows what he's doing and is actually going to start killing me, basically. Frost is... He is not is... AFK, therefore he is alive. Well, I mean, if you're AFK, you're probably alive. Unless someone killed you, and then you're away from keyboard because of that. Wait, hey, you... Rifkin's in the chat! I think he's... Yeah, he might be a little bit bored, actually. <sighs> Oh my god. Ah, I'm trying to think of all the things that I like want to get at PAX every year and I don't actually have the opportunity to get this year. Shoot. I don't know what exactly is at PAX. I just know it's a general type of convention. Oh, they have tons of stuff. They have I usually get like posters. Oh, 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 Graham, if you find anything at the uh they're in like the indie section, they always have that company. What's the company? Super Giant Games. Super Giant Games makes a bunch of posters for like Bastion and uh, Transistor and stuff. If you find any sick posters, that'd be pretty cool. He means the game, not the Overwatch character. Transistor and Super Giant Games and, and Bastion. Bastion. Oh, Bastion. Yeah, because that's what I would have would have thought of. Like as I know, they recently released um, mm -hmm. a bunch of the posters that you can find in game in Overwatch that you can buy in real life. Now, if they have any of that, I think I would want that too, but I actually have no idea what else I would want, so I'm Gucci. By the way, big shout out to B-Ball Geo. B-Ball, B-Ball Geo. Ball Joe is what I'm gonna go B-Ball Joe. 15 month resub. Yeah, thank you. That All right, so fear, oh, okay, so I was kind of expecting a Dark Shrine. Yeah. The Twilight Council was kind of syncing up with this, but a proxy robo. What is the purpose of this? And a forge. Well, I guess he's gonna be going for plus one resident glaive, like all in. Like I expect to see a blossom of, of gateways, you know, burst of gateways. But why would you proxy the robo? I guess you would send the adepts across the map initially, get them a little bit scared, and then come in with the the main attack. But like, my my question is that like, the warp is not exactly super slow. So like, why not just have it produce in your main clone? To the bottom and then keep it there while you wait for all your adepts like i i just i don't know the point of, of proxying such an important uh building that you're gonna want basically throughout the entire uh, uh game to be producing consistently unlike a dark shrine which is just a tech structure well maybe somewhere. he's gonna make immortals from it afterwards because ah. yeah he does actually have a lot of gateways coming out but he's okay i was gonna say he only had uh five on the way which would bring up to six 
And he could have supported making Immortals alongside the Adepts every so often, but he does go up to eight gate. Okay, eight gateways. That's one more than I usually see. <laughs> well, I don't think it's going to have any Immortals. But this is... It is just a little weird, because what also is so like weird about this is that you can get in here and see all this happening and be like, oh, I guess it is just resident glaives and a war prism. But you, you know, if you didn't see a dark shrine that was hidden, that'd be like super, super important. But like, you see this, you see gateways and a Twilight Council and a forge. And as a Terran player, I would just assume I missed the robo somewhere, you know, like, oh, I didn't check behind the gases, not like, oh, he doesn't, doesn't have one. So Alive is already prepared. I mean... I don't know if they've they played each other before, but Alive is taking no shit from Protoss, apparently. Because he has scouted mm. nothing, actually. Like, seriously, nothing. But yeah. he was already all set up for this. And keep in mind, it makes sense, because he went for a CC first. I think his plan was to play very defensive up until, like, seven or eight minutes. Yeah, this is going to be a really weird push-in. There's Marines on the high ground also that make it kind of difficult to just elevator strip to the main base, but... Fear's gonna try and go for it anyways. The Marines are there and just gonna be warding off that War Prism. The SCVs at the bunker are also making it really difficult for Fear to break this. Yeah. This is actually very strong. Immortal. Yeah, if only he had two Immortals. Uh, this is actually very strong all in. Keep in mind, you know, you don't have the Missile you don't have the Marines in the proper location. Kind of like what's happening right now. And you could get a lot of Adepts everywhere, you know, natural and main, but instead, Ah, uh, he really, he could have actually saved that War Prism, I think, if he had just put it in face mode on the edge there, but, well. That did not go out so well. He's killing SCVs, which is surprising, considering how well Alive was set up for this, but only enough to kind of bring it not even quite oh. even, because you got to consider mules. Uh, I don't know about that. He's still killing workers, and these two Adepts are doing work, and they pull all, most of the Marines over to the natural. Uh, I guess with the next Adept coming in, like, if he continues to do this kind of damage, he does have a third expansion going up behind this. Now, this was a very all-in position, so he doesn't even have his third and fourth gas geysers, but plus one weapons is finished up. He actually is two-shotting workers and marines, by the way, which do not have combat shields. They will by the time Alive ever pushes out, and oh, they, they should have yeah, combat shields, they should have, uh, maybe double medevac production, maybe not, because he is waiting on that reactor, but... Still, whenever Whoa. Alive feels confident pushing out into this, his army should uh, be better. They'll have, like, Wuda Mines and, and Liberators and, and everything. He scans the main base, I guess... Hmm, I'm actually not sure what he would have, would have scouted for that third. He already scouted the, the third with the Marines, that's why he didn't scan there. But I wonder what he's looking for in the main base. I think it's because he was going for a drop right now, and the dr timing of this drop could be amazing or it could be terrible. Six warp gates all off of cooldown right now. If Fear has them all available, he actually shouldn't have any trouble dealing with this drop. Actually, all of the warp gates are going to be off of cooldown, and he now sees the drop. Even if he could warp in, the only warp location is right over here. He didn't, he didn't go to Pylon, mm -hmm. so... A oh, couple of yeah. Marines are going to be able to take care of this Nexus. Wow, that mm, that's really weird. He had the... It's not like he was supply blocked or anything earlier on, so he could have warped in units. I think he had the resources for it. Yeah, he really just didn't react. Um, as I said, like, he warps in here, they have to go around, they have to shade, and they probably still don't even save the Nexus, to be honest. But it, it would have been closer, as opposed to pulling his entire army back. I think he was microing with his War Prism, and that's why he didn't really do very much. As it did try and, and get in here, and then almost, you know, got trapped. He was focusing quite a bit on it. Yeah. By the way, big shout out to my... To Tominin? My Tominin for the 16 month resub. Thank yeah. you all for your hard work. Thank you. Uh, another Nexus is going to go down. This one wasn't as. Oh boy. This one wasn't that safe either. We have a couple of Adepts. I guess they're going to wait for another War Prism. That will be the third War Prism, though, because there's still this one alive. They're just waiting for mm. whatever. Oh man. these A lot of probes are about to go down over here at the natural. Yeah, he still hasn't. Has he not warped in at all? He's got a stalker there. Oh. The stalker's now gone. What did I miss up here? He's got a lot of idle probes in his main base, too. I think Fear is just, like, not feeling so hot right now. He's going all in for this. There's Widow Mines. Uh, there was a Liberator. Oh, that's what I missed. The Liberator in the main base. That's where they're pulled. I, I knew he built one, and I didn't, I didn't watch it fly across. But still, 
Um, he's got Widow Mines, and now he's got Medivacs, and the uh, upgrades, better upgrades. So I think he should Definitely be fine. Machine on top of the Marines. Uh, he's gonna be able to kill a lot of the bio forces off. He doesn't have any economy, though. Ah, oh, I can't lift! Oh, the Marauders! <laughs> well, that kind of sucks. The will have to reposition for this. Or maybe not. The bio might be enough. No. I think it's I think it's more than yeah. enough. Yeah. Our person goes down. His uh, probe line, by the way, is just it's not getting back up. <laughs> yeah. He did a lot of worker damage, because the SCDs were pulled during that fight, but nah, I still gonna tap out. GG. Alive takes game number one, and this one was a best of three, I believe. Yes, it is. So, the next map will be Fear's Choice. Yes, indeed. That was that was an interesting and weird game. I do really feel like losing the third obviously really sucked to just like a drop uh, when he. Ha but I can kind of understand if he really wanted to make sure he wasn't using his warp ins like back at home defensively. He was hoping that like maybe he could just use foot and overcharge something. But yeah, at that point, like he ended up pulling back all of his adepts, which also gave Alive more time to like set up his bunker and get like go back to mining for a little bit get out more units like that whole thing is about snowballing mm -hmm. and it didn't really did he ever get a mothership core now that i think back on it i feel like i never saw one try and pop an overcharge I don't, I don't know if he did uh he might not, never have i mean there are certain things you have to give up when you do x or y build right usually with time you build whatever you gave up upgrades mothership core and he might have just forgotten well, I would, I could, I would actually say like, the fact that he got his third and fourth gas guys are so ridiculously late. There's a really good chance he didn't get his mothership core because he just didn't have the gas yeah. for it. Yeah, that's a good point. So, but, I mean, that certainly would have helped. It probably still would have been a lives game, but fear really was. <laughs> uh, fear is doing a lot of SCD damage, and the the one problem, of course, is that he loses his army supply. But you you have that moment where like you can barely hold on, and you started to come back, and they can't kill you, um, and they, they just have, don't have enough SCDs, because Alive was down to 12 SCDs, I think, at the end of that game. Yeah. Oh, well. We did get a, a donation, which is what I was laughing at, because it's very loud now, but thank you to, uh, why does it never show up on stream? <sighs> there we go. Diablo Malandro donated $5. Give, please, tell Rif Ripkin to go to Gaijin Entertainment. And get me one or two cross out beta access keys. I don't know what that is. That was a lot of words that individually I, <laughs> I, I know. Words I suppose, were said. But <laughs> I don't know what that means. But maybe he heard you and maybe he'll do it. But I think he's he's probably gone by now. Yeah. Rip. All right. In the bottom left on New Gettysburg, he is the Blue Terran alive. And in the bottom right, we have the red Protoss player. Give it up for Dead Pixels Fear. Yeah, I think, you know, there is a lot of people that kind of like got uh, sucked up basically by Dead Pixels when they had that whole team merger with like Carnage and then one other team, I think. That's why Namshar is on Dead Pixels, I believe, right? So I yeah. think that Fear, though, was one of the original ones when they, they had. OG. Yeah, they had a decent lineup, and he was kind of... He was the one that, no, like, people less recognized, but I feel like he's been on that team for a very long time. Of course, alive, being on a Korean team and whatnot. But with so much... Yeah, so much being over in Korea, you know, we have GSL and SSL finals, so there's only four people left in those in those leagues. And, and Pro League being done, and even if, you know, all the rumors about next year and whatnot, whatever to that, the point is it would be next year... That's a lot of time that Koreans do not have to do anything. So while we see the usual suspects here today, Alive, Tails, whatever, whatever, I would really expect more. Maybe not European Cups, because it's a terrible time. I actually don't know why these guys do this, but <laughs> they either the North American Cups or the Korean ones. You know what's also weird is that, like, not just the time zones, I always feel like Europeans are the ones that say, I can't play on Korea, the latency is too bad. So you'd no. think that it would be like, the, they'd be playing on the North American Cups, but I guess there aren't that many North American Cups really around anymore. Yeah, that's certainly true. Well, 
Anyway, uh, we have a Stargate opener versus what looks to be a Woodamine drop opener. And unfortunately, most Terrans, they plant that Woodamine down before they actually bring it forward. Oop, no. No, no, no. It's going to be a tank push? Or a cyclone push? Oh. Huh. Well, let's see what he does with that tech lab. But, okay, so this makes it a little more interesting, I suppose. I was, I was basically going to say, if this is going to be for Oracle, it's dead. Like, especially since this SME scouted this, a Woodamine would be planted <laughs> down in a mineral line. But now that it's not a Woodamine... The Oracle, or if it's Phoenixes, whichever, could do some damage. Uh, it's gonna still get a wood of mine. That's not the intention, yeah. though. It's just because he scouted. I do sure. wonder. You know, if you're really on point with your Oracle control, you can still like notice that the wood of mine yeah. is burrowed. You can be really tricky about it, but Terran players have uh -huh. just gotten so sneaky about it, like planting them behind the refinery or like on top of the location where SCVs would be mining in the mineral patch. It just yeah. makes it hard to see. It does, and you, you always like think this. You watch the best of the best Protosses go into a mineral, and like they gotta figure there's a wood on mine there, right? And sometimes you just don't, and you're like, oh, well, I guess everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, um, a lot actually puts wonder... it in a very obvious location. Yeah, I always wonder like, oh, is Adept's actually gonna be able to get some at least uh, denied mining right now, but. Yeah. I always think, like, what if Widow Mines just had, like, a high-pitched, like, screeching sound as they were locking out, like, <laughs> <laughs> Then that would be really annoying to play with and against. Oh, God, in the middle of engagements, you just hear that sound. Yeah, yeah like, like, or, like, times. ten times. Yeah, that would be terrible. All right, so another interesting thing. I was like, well, this is either before tank push, which... Isn't run that often on New Gettysburg, but I, I believe a lot could do anything really. But a cyclone build makes a little bit more sense. It is a mid game cyclone build though, which is what's so interesting. Like, we've been seeing a couple of builds that are you get a factory, then command center, like almost old school way of, of building against Perdosk, and then you get cyclones. Or, um, you know, you get one or two, but then that's it, and not the upgrade. But he's actually going for the upgrade. Mm. It's, you know, instead of any other type of production here, he's only got like a handful of Marines to help him out. And it's a, it's a small push, but it certainly has a lot of deadly micro potential. Yeah, this is gonna be really weird. I guess like the, the weirdest part about this to me is the fact that he is still continue, like he halted worker production, but then he continues it every so often. So he's sitting at like 31 workers to 55. He has to do damage over here. He's gonna be very, very dead in the water. <gasps> oh, that stasis hype. trap could have been so good. Fortunately, it does not block out the army. That would have been awesome. <laughs> oh. Imagine if he had had two stasis traps over there, and one SCV would have been trapped, and then one marine would have been trapped, and it would have blocked off the entire area. Yeah, that would have been kind of clever, but oof, here, he doesn't have blink, he doesn't have a war prism, all the things you would really need to deal with the cyclones. He does end up sniping one. Alive, I think, was planning on microing that with a medevac. Hmm. Uh, I think fear may just be dead. I think so. I think he lost too many stalkers to begin with. There's the pickup. Oh. Actually. And... He's still... He's, he's actually not that far oh, behind him. Now he has switched an overcharge. Yeah, he is on a third base, but this attack isn't quite over yet. Marines are being rallied through. Now, Alive is starting to miss macro. He needs to get uh, a third base down. That's what he's going to do. He needs to get his production down, especially so he can start Stim, oh. uh, which he's desperately missing. But, oh, the Warpers is going to go down. Uh, there goes a lot of micro potential that he had. Uh, Most Core is going to have another foot to overcharge in like 25 seconds, but he kind of needs one just like right now, and the Cyclone gets a lock onto the Most Core. These uh, probes aren't mining, and oh, things are not looking great for fear. Oh man, he actually didn't. He's not mining gas in his main base. Oh shit! That's why he doesn't have any gas. That's why he's not making anything out of his robo. Well. Oh. Well, I mean, even remaking that war prism would have been useful. The the, the, the robo could be doing a lot of things right now. Uh, instead, of, unfortunately, it's Chrono Boosted doing nothing. Because, you know, we saw, uh, what was it, like, Neve versus Gumi or something like that? Like, War Prism Micro can be fantastic against Cyclone specifically. Yeah. But there was the added problem of the Marine counts. I think that, you know, that kind of throws you off as you really do tunnel vision on the Cyclone. The Marines might I'm, not seem uh, too big of a deal. I'm still kind of amazed, though. Like, he's not actually down in workers. Uh, like, only one worker down, but yeah, he does end up tapping out. Their expansion was thrown down for Alive, so... Yeah, Alive was getting everything back and, and set up. 
So it, it would have still, I think, tumbled down to a loss for him. But that's going to be it as Alive takes it 2-0. Moves on to the round of eight. Um, hopefully other matches will be lining up easily enough. But so far, no updated. This will be the first one going to round of eight. Uh, we'll see if we can catch like, a game over three or something. If that is what we have to do. We're going to go to a break, so see you when we have a lobby set up.